What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to the alpha demo for Hull Breach. Now this demo came out about five, or uh, exactly five days ago on IndieDB. Now, I haven't seen anything on this game, but I'm very, very interested in the cutscenes and everything, or not the cutscenes, but the actual screenshots of this game that I have seen. Now, I will go into the story. Basically, this game looks awesome, and the developers are still working on it. This is only an alpha demo, but from what I've seen from the actual screenshots is think of a little bit of Subnautica, where you have to, more or less, you have to, like, uh, ma micromanage almost everything, which I think is kind of cool. So, this is the story for the game itself. You are alone in a crashed ship on a dangerous planet with a deadly atmosphere. Every day you will have to eat, drink, keep your morale up, and watch your health, and hope to see help and hope to see help coming to rescue. All the other members of the ship are dead or missing. Beware, because each day you will have more and more problems to take care of, like repairing breaches of the hull or fixing broken machines. Don't forget a closed door could save your life if a room is is on fire. It should say is on fire. Is in fire on fire. Or if our a cricken? deadly atmosphere of the planet is leaking from a hull breach. All doors are her hermet hermetically closed and should stay that way. Your hopes of getting saved are close to zero, but maybe you can survive just one more day if you are careful enough. Good luck. So this is literally how the game starts. You start off in this room. You start off on that bed. You stand up, and this is how the game starts. I love the fact that it has um, Moonlight Sonata playing in the background. Anybody doesn't know Moonlight Sonata, it is the game that you play, or that Claire plays no jill sorry jill valentine plays in resident evil 2 when she plays it on the piano very cool hopefully i don't get a copyright infringement but the song's been out for like i don't know like a hundred years or something like that so it should be fine very cool song so this game is going to be very difficult it does have a tutorial and everything or it does have tutorials so i don't know how well it is, actually is alpha demo so i'm not really expecting it to be too ball-wrenchingly difficult, but the developers, developers even said, this is a hard game, so be ready for that, but it has a lot of big things in it, like, there's a lot of things you have to deal with, with, like, oxygen, food, morale, morale is a big thing, they leave that out of a lot of games, but if you're, like, depressed all the time, you have no energy to do stuff, you also have to deal with atmosphere breaking in, uh, water, I'm guessing, because I think that might be water leaking into the ship that you're in as well, uh, also, you can deal with getting, uh, like, heart diseases and stuff like that, that was one of the things that the developers showed in the description for the game, is that you can get, like, a heart disease that you have to, I'm guessing, get medical supplies and cure yourself, because I'm guessing if you're on this ridiculous ship, you can probably cure yourself, anyway, it looks like, I don't even know what that is, that looks like Adobe something, I don't know, but let's actually, oh, I didn't even look behind me, oh, options was behind me, I did not know, I can't walk around in here, and apparently there's a pair of boxers or panties on the ground, I don't know what the hell that thing is, I already did go into the uh, the uh, options, there really isn't anything else I can do, I have it running on the highest settings, now, for anybody that wants to play this game, like always, there'll be a link to it in the description below, but this game does require a very hefty card to play, I mine is overclocked right now just playing this game, so... Profile one, sure, why not? All right, I have not played this, so let's see what this game has to offer. It just looks really, really cool, and I want to check it out. Like I, I never played Subnautica. Minor device breakdown. Right oh, there's an Do AI. You me? Click here. Hey there, you finally woken up. Good. To be honest, I seriously thought you were. Oh my god. You should get a move on. That ship is decaying faster than a dead body in the middle of the desert. In case you forgot, use uh. your right hand to interact with something. Okay. Click on that. Very cool. Oh, that's not good. All right. Oh, I, I I ate an apple by accident. How did I do that? How did I do that? How did how did I eat that apple? Oh, it was the inventory in that thing. Oh, my bad. Okay. So let's close that. So that has a lot of HPA. I don't know what that is. Where am I going? I can open this up. Same computer, same setup, but there really isn't anything in here. Is there anything in here? So I'm guessing this is what's actually in... So I can move an item. I can take items with me. How do I scroll down? Oh, I have to use the mouse pad. Oh, the uh, scroll wheel. Okay. Looks like real fruit. Okay, so I can move stuff into my inventory. Take it with me. Unit of water. I will take those with me. Can be used once day, once every day. Oh, that'll keep my morale up. Okay, sure. Uh... Indigestion pill. That's actually a good thing to take. And a power conduit. Alright, I'll take that as well. So we'll go with that for now. So apparently you can just walk away from stuff. Already digging the game so far. Alright, where am I going? Do I have to go here? Oh, the, those are dust particles. I was like, what is there, space inside this place? 
cool, so I can sh sprint. This is fucking cool. Like, I know it might not seem ridiculously interesting to some people, because there really isn't a whole lot going on in the screen, but goddamn, like, this type of stuff really, really is cool to me. What is this? What does this do? Oh! Oh, that's probably not a good thing. Oh, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. There's a lot of alarms and stuff going on. Okay, I'm guessing that teleported me down to the, I don't know, second floor, maybe? I have no idea. That was probably a bad room. Uh-oh, somebody got a blue screen. What is that? Can I read that? No, I can't. That's just my inventory. Huh. Okay, this is all the stuff that's in this room. Microchip. Sure, I'll take that. How do I... Tab to switch window. No. So I guess you just walk away from the item and it'll close it. Okay, probably shouldn't go in there. Uh, where am I... Sp am I supposed to be going that way? Like, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. All the alarms are going off and everything. Am I supposed to be going this way? I Am I supposed to be following the red lights? Is that a thing? Probably not. I'll close that. And I, I mean, it's fine closing doors. I have no problem closing doors. Hey, somebody's playing Windash. Never heard of it. Hull Breach. Oh, that's the game's title and everything. Like, it's kind of cool. There, all there really seems to be is cabins and everything. I'm guessing that's more Windash, maybe. I have no idea what that is. Oh, uh, this is more stuff. No, I didn't want to do that. Let's go ahead and close that. Nope. Okay, it's closed. So, this is the room that I started in, right? Oh, no, it's not. This is another hallway. Where am I going? Again, it's an alpha demo, so I don't really know too, too much about what this game might have. So, that's where I'm at. Uh, where do I need to go is the question that I'm trying to answer. Huh, doesn't look like I can get to the areas, but to the left or right, uh, missing info. So these are cabins that I was next to. This is another cabin. Huh. So do I need to take the elevator down? Or take, not the elevator, but the... Oh. Oh, how do I pull up my inventory? At 88%, your hunger is under 75%. How do I pull that up? Uh, how do I, how do I, how do I... How do I pull that up? How do I... You cannot teleport. This teleporter is broken. How do I pull up my inventory? How do I... How do I do that? That's a question that I would like to answer. How do I do that? Nope. Don't want to do that. Alright. Let me know what the controls are. Close inventory. Take all. How do I open my inventory, though? Uh... Huh. Oh, you can teleport around the ship, too. That's kind of cool. So, inventory. Oh, I, obviously. That makes sense. All right, let's open up my inventory. Uh, apparently, I need to eat some food. My food is below 43%, but I don't think I'll need to eat that stuff yet. Uh, my happiness is, eh, it's okay. Oh, wow, okay, so I actually, oh, I, I don't know why that closed. So, okay, so those are all my stats right there. So, I guess I'll eat an apple. I don't know what that really did, and my happiness is, seems to be okay, but I'll use the teddy bear. Teddy bear, but morale 25%, okay. So none of that stuff actually really does anything. My water is okay, my oxygen, well, I'll drink some water. My oxygen is okay. I guess I'll eat that too. I like to keep my stats higher. All right, so I know what my inventory is. Uh, there was another thing that I wanted to look at. Uh, what was that button? All of those teleporters are broken. So you, apparently you can teleport around your ship. That's kind of cool. So you can teleport between different areas. But you also have to be mindful. Okay, this is another storage room. So do I have to... Oh, what was it? Uh, T? What was that? Safety doors. They are used to isolate ship sections. Okay. To be honest, I've heard that sometimes fire spread through them. What was that supposed to mean? This is a personal desk. You may find something interesting in it. Okay. Cool. Alcohol decreases worse infections gravity. Bandages recover a bit of your health. That's a good thing to take. Uh, bruise cream. Oh, there's a bunch of food in here. A lot of it's spoiled. Or it's been contaminated. Bacon? Hell yeah. Fucking always use of bacon. Uh, what else we got? Mr. Krusty Cereal. Damn, that sounds really good. Standard dessert ration tastes like sugar. And some more water. I'll take that. Sure. Okay. So, what am I 
doing? Am I supposed to go down? I'm gonna go through the teleporter and see if there's something I can repair, maybe. Where do I find the teleporter? Oh, here it is. Alright, well, let's take this teleporter and see what happens. Oh, this is... Where am I now? Is this the bridge? I'm on, Apparently, I'm on the Wanderer 4. This is where I'm at. So... This is definitely a different area. I should probably be closing these doors behind me, but... Like, I don't know... Where's the bridge? That's what I want to find. Ah! Speaking of the bridge. Let's close this. So, low oxygen level. Is that something I could fix? No, these are all the things that are in here. Uh, reactor number three needs repairs. Is that something I can fix myself, or do I have to do it from here? So apparently, I have to interact with different things, but I have to use... So these are all the different sections of the ship. Apparently, everything's freaking corrupted, too. This is pretty goddamn cool, I am not gonna lie. This is an indie game. I don't even know what engine this is running on, actually. So I can't seem to pull up these menus, though. Unless there's no menu for that. I just literally keep pulling up the stuff that's in the room. Which I'm guessing it's gonna be fixed. Oh, there's a lab right there. Let's see what's in there. I gotta be careful of the auction. Oh, okay. What is this? What is that? Oh, no. Don't bring that up. Is there, like, a menu that I can pop up? Like, how do I... I can't read that. So these are all different components and everything. Cable, always useful. Yeah, that's awesome. But is there a way to fix this stuff? Like, do I need to... Teleporters... Oh, my food keeps dropping, obviously. Okay. What is that? Flu vaccine inhibitors. So, you're not completely lost. I mean, you have an entire ship that you can take stuff from and survive throughout the entire thing. But... Nothing cure medication has been used anyway. Oh, why would you use the medication then? That sucks. Alright, let's pull up my inventory here. Uh, I'll eat the apple. Why not? Okay, the apple doesn't seem to do anything. I'll eat the... Sure, why not? Eat the cereal. Uh, I'll take some water. One hour left. I don't... One hour left to do what? Like, I don't have an objective. Is that what this... Like, is, do I have an object... Where's the tutorial thing? So this is storage. So, is there... There's gonna be stuff that I can fix. Uh, there are stuff in it. You can take it. Thanks? Oh, is this the reactor room? Didn't it say reactor? Th oh, end of the day, and the day just ends like that. You can use the body scanner to reveal one of the unknown diseases or wound. Okay, so we've gone on to a next day. End of day zero. Save is not available in this demo. Okay, cleaning service breakdown. Two open breaches. Okay. All right, that's a lot of information all at once. Maintenance, cleaning service breakdown. Uh, so... Where do I fix that stuff? That's all. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Okay. Do, do I have something that will give me, like... Uh, like, where do I fix that stuff is what I want to know. Do I just have to follow the sirens until, you know... Need to repair a global transporter, too. Need two batteries. Okay, so I can repair something. I need to... I, I want to do something in this video. All these doors are locked. Why are these doors locked? Okay, what the hell is this room? Is this another storage room? Uh, is this a good thing? Uh, oh, where am I going? Huh. What? What is... What is this? Is this just another storage room? Oh, wow, my hunger is really bad. I forgot that I slept, but... My hunger's fine. My hunger's at 819. Oh, it's 81.9%. Whoops. Well, I have no food, so that's... Oh, I didn't... Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Uh... So, where are these objectives? I know that I have objectives, but how do I get to them? Yes, take me down. I know this whole area down here was on fire. There we go! Now I'm actually near a goddamn alarm. Okay, that room is seriously on fire. Apparently I can... How did I... What did I do? Apparently my glove... Has water in it, okay? Apparently I'm burned. That's not good. So I'm just waving my hand over these fire. And... 
like it's it's going out. You you cannot extinguish a fire without a unit of water. Oh, I used a bunch of my water. That's not good. Apparently, I have a disease. Take all. Uh, take all. Uh, oh god, this room's on fire now. Close that. I have a new disease. Great. Can I close that? Close that. Okay. Uh. Wow, there's a ton of shit in here. I'll take that. Can I take this stuff? No, I can't grab the boots. Okay. Inventory. Uh, I need to repair, heal myself here. Oh, wow, the, the fruit is on fire. That's, that's really not good. Alright, uh, how do I get rid of stuff? I don't want to eat that stuff that's contaminated. Uh, music. La, 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 la. Great, my morale's gone up. Awesome. Teddy bear. Great. Alright, I got more water. Uh, I need to heal myself, though. Aren't I on fire? Sort of? So there's 0% fire. Uh, don't, uh, how do I... Alright, let's close that. Apparently I have water now. Close that. I like the fact that the water spread into the other room. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Cool, that room's on... That room's good. This room's on fire, though. That's not a good thing. Uh, this over here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so this room is done, too. Good, good. I have extinguished the fires. That's good. Alright, awesome. Fantastic. That alarm can stop going off now. Why is this room on fire again? Stop it. Oh, because of here. God damn it. I didn't know this room was on fire. Then again, I, there we go. All right, cool. All right, so I put all the fires out in this area. That was uh, that was a little frustrating at first because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But the temperature is starting to go down and the fire is out. Okay, so apparently there are two hull breaches somewhere, though. I don't know where those hull breaches are. It does kind of suck that it doesn't tell you where the hull breaches are. Like, I literally had to guess that this area was on fire down here. Oh. What the hell is that? Well, that's not good. Ah, uh, I fixed that? Okay. Was that something that I needed to fix? Okay, so that was Hull Breach. This game is pretty cool, not gonna lie. But, man, does this game... Yeah, okay, obviously that. This game desperately needs something to add it to it. Now, I understand that this game is technically in Super Alpha, so it's in Alpha Demo Mode, so there's not going to be a whole lot to it. There's a lot of areas that are locked down. Most of the only areas that are open are going to be storage rooms. This game desperately needs something to give you a little bit of help. I understand that's going to be difficult, but if you're just literally wandering around trying to find the fire or trying to find the hull bridge, which I still haven't found, I don't even know what that looks like, it's not going to be fun. You're going to get frustrated and you're going to get bored with the game. So one thing that it really, really needs is something to give you some help. Allow yourself to talk to the uh, actual, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? To the AI that's, I, see, I assume that's, control, that's controlling the ship. Allow yourself to talk to him. Maybe he'll give you some type of help, like, oh, check down on this floor for this type of thing. I like the fact that it has a lot of this different thing. You have to manage your food, you have to manage your water, happiness, O2. All of the diseases that I still don't know what the heck they are, and I have no idea how to fix them. But it, it needs a little bit of something. It needs something to help you out. Now, obviously, when the full version comes out, I assume there's going to be more stuff. But when you look at these maps... Maybe make one of the areas that's like, say one of the, say uh, one of this, this room's on fire. Make it red, so, or make it pulsing or something, so you kind of know, okay, I need to get down to this particular room, that way I can pry and put out the fires. This game has a lot of potential to be really cool, especially if the developers eventually make it so you can go outside, uh, and like with a suit or anything, because I did find a suit eventually in the game itself, but... As of right now, everything is corrupted or missing, which means I'm guessing that stuff's going to be added in once the full version of the game comes out. But it is very frustrating when you're literally, all you can really do is wander around and uh, basically 
wander around and hope that you come across something that is on fire or something that has a hull breach, which again, I don't even know what that is. So obviously there's going to be more added into the game. I just think it needs a little bit, obviously it's going to add more stuff, but this was like a preempt of showing off what it is. I would really like to be able to repair the ship, like survive the days, fix the ship up when the stuff breaks, but then also repair the ship because it talks about this engine needing repair right here. It talks about low oxygen level in that particular room. Okay. I want to fix that particular stuff. I would like to be able to maybe fix my comms, talk to people. It had dialogue from your character talking and everything. It just needs more stuff to it. Again, I understand that it's only an alpha demo. I have no idea how much of this video I cut out because it really wasn't a whole lot to show. But it was a fun game in general. I like it. I like what I've seen so far, especially just for a demo. So I hope to see more from this game. I'm pretty sure it's only two people working on this game from what I saw from the developer log, so, which is pretty insane for a game like this. But this game has a lot of potential to be really cool. I just hope the developers stick with it and keep adding more stuff to it because I want to... I need to know my objective. I understand that I'll have an objective to, to fix this particular stuff every day when I wake up. New stuff will be broken or whatnot. But give the player a little bit of help. Don't just say, okay, there's stuff broken. Good luck trying to find it. That's not real fun. Uh, and I understand... It might get it, that might seem too easy, but it's gonna frustrate a lot of players. Like I've been recording for over half an hour, and I only repaired like one thing because I could I happened to stumble across it. You need to have something that can kind of point you in a direction to kind of work with it. Like I understand this game reminds me a lot of Subnautica. But it desperately needs something that you can use to kind of point you in the right direction. Otherwise than that, it sounds like it's going to be a cool game once more versions come out. I look forward to playing the beta uh, if the developers decide to release one. So anyway, if you guys want to check this game out for yourself, I recommend it if you're into this type of thing. Just be aware that there's not a whole lot to the game so far. There will be a link to it in the description below. Like I said, it does require a pretty decent computer to play it on the settings that I have it on, which is basically the highest settings you can get in the game. But it's still a pretty cool game. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to check out the annotations that are going to spawn right here for more videos that I've done and I'll see you guys next time maniacs out what is this oh, okay that was a bomb never mind probably shouldn't have ran into a question mark or an exclamation point okay oh. uh can I okay ha ah! oh okay what the hell